Hello everybody, I'm here to explain to you how the computer aspect of this master's project is going to take place. What we are going to do is we are actually going to be designing the vectors and the G-code for the printing on the CNC router downstairs. So I'm going to show you the program in which we are going to do that in and how exactly it works. So the program we're working on is Aspire 9.5. So we're going to open that up and Aspire 9.5, Vectric, passionate about CNC. This is a fantastic fantastic software to create these things. It's very user friendly, yet allows you to really get into the nuts and bolts of it and really change the minutiae if you need to. So we are going to go in and we are going to create a new file. And as you can see, the width right now is 96 inches and the height is 48 inches. Now that means that the bed of our CNC is four feet by eight feet, which it is. It is actually a very large machine. But what we don't want is it width of, nine, uh, of eight feet and height of four feet because our machine is actually has a height of eight feet and a width of four feet. Now when you're setting these tool paths, they are going on the G code that you create. So that is the X, Y, Z positions. So if you make it think that it's eight feet wide, it's not gonna know what to do. So it will get to the side part and then just stop. It, will, it won't know what to do. So what we are going to do is we are actually going to make this the proper dimensions, which is exceptionally important. So the width we're going to change to 48 inches because that's four feet. And the height we're going to change to 96 inches because that's eight feet. And we're going to make sure we're in inches. Now, 0 0.5 is the thickness of the board or the Z as you see right there. We have not laminated and built our major board yet. So we're just going to say 0 0.5 inches just to give you guys an idea. This part is very, very important. This is the Z zero position important. So where on the Z axis or the thickness does this thing start reading zero? We want this to start reading zero on the bottom. We do not want it on the top, on the machine surface. We want it on the machine bed. If Because our CNC is set up for it to be on the machine bed. If we are accidentally do it here, and then we send it to the CNC, the CNC is gonna think zero is down here. So if the zero is set up here, it could drive right into the bed. So we have to be very, very careful to make sure we're on the machine bed, which is right there. The X, Y datum position. So this is where on the machine do you want it to think of X, Y, zero. And for us, it's set down here. It has been for a long time and always will be. So our datum X, Y, zero position is down here in the bottom left-hand corner. Solid color and standard, this modeling resolution. If you're doing 3D modeling, all that kind of stuff, you'd want this to be higher. But for what we're doing, not a big deal. So then you hit okay. 